Okay everyone, it's Kevin. I'm back with another little video here. This is a little project for my granddaughter. Um, and this is for things that she may bring home from school that she might be very proud of that she can hang them up and show everybody what she done in school. So I just have a couple real thin, this is a real thin piece of wood here. And this is just the back to our project. And then I have a little piece, these both, actually both these come from a craft store. So this is not something I got from um, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. This is just uh, craft wood. You can pick it up, at, like I said, just about any craft store. And I know you can't see this, but I'll get them up a little closer here. I had traced out some lettering right all along here. Look what Livy made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these on the scroll saw and I'm going to cut each one of these letters out. And then we're going to put the back on there. Once we put the back on there, we'll glue everything back to the back. So these will kind of be all cut out, which will look kind of cool for. So we're going to go ahead to get these things cut out. All right. We got it in the uh, drill press. What we're going to do now is we're going to start drilling some holes because we got to be able to get our bit down in there. Oh, help we plug this thing in. So each one of these we're going to drill a hole in it. That's just so we can get our tiny little bit in there to cut them out. We got them all cut out. They're not sanded yet, but don't forget to keep your little centers to, like your A and your O's or your D's. You got to keep all these center pieces because that's what you're going to glue onto that backing board. Now the backing board over here, <coughs> what we're going to do is each piece of the backing board, we're going to cut a, we're going to paint it a different color. So the back of the maid, Livy, each one is going to be a different color. You could even paint this like a rainbow color in the back and have a whole bunch of different colors all the way across. Totally up to you. But we're going to go ahead and get this sanded up now. All right. She got all this painted white now. We're going to put a second coat on there. Now this piece here, we got it marked out in sections. You can see there's a little line there, one there, and one there. And that'll give you four sections and each one of them sections go underneath each word that's on that board and each one of them are going to be a different color that way it'll when it comes through it'll be that color underneath and then the white on the top okay all the outside is painted white and you can see over here these are little pieces that go inside of the a the o and the d and then uh, we got these all painted the different colors now. So we're just going to let these dry up. And then we're going to put them on top of there and glue it. And uh, finish this little project up. Alright, you can see now when we lay the board on top of it. The colors come in behind it. And then we'll lay each of our little pieces down here and we'll glue them on. So right now what we're going to do is go ahead and glue this thing all together. Once we get it glued... We're going to be sticking the little clothespins on it. Okay, everyone. We got Libby's. Uh, we left it set all night with some weight on it. We had some books. We laid on it and uh, let it dry up real good. So now we're going to put her little clothespins on here. So she can uh, hang her artwork on here. So we're going to put maybe some different color uh, clothespins. And we're just going to Gorilla Glue them down. We're going to use a little Gorilla Glue. And we're going to glue them all over this thing so she has places to hang her uh, artwork. Or, you know, what she brings home some nice grades. She wants to hang them up and show them off. She can hang them on here. Now we're going to use a couple of these uh, command strips here to put on the back of it. Three of them. One in the middle, one on each end. 
and then we'll have it uh, she can put it on the wall so we're gonna go ahead and glue these on well. all right we're gonna get some glue on these boys and put them down on here now we just kind of try to space them out on there the best that we could so Libby could get her papers on there now she doesn't have to just put papers on here she can put jewelry on here she could put anything on here anything will hold inside that paper clip or that clothes pin so we're going to just go ahead and keep gluing them all the way across when we get this done we'll get you guys back in here okay all the little clothes pins are all on there and glued we're going to give them some time it takes a little while for them to dry give it a little bit of time let them dry and then we're going to go ahead and turn it over and we're going to get our little uh command strips put on the back and then we're going to shoot this thing the whole thing with a coat of clear and that coat of clear is going to be easier for them to clean it and uh seal it up a little bit i think this is going to be a cool little project here all right guys this is it we're going to put the clear coat on it and this little project pretty much done besides putting little sticky things on the back we're gonna go ahead and put a nice coat of clear on this so uh, this will be a little bit more durable for fingerprints and that type of thing okay you can see the project turned out pretty nice Libby's got all of her artwork hanging up there and she Mom, said she can fill it up every day you could do this every day huh so she, oh yeah, that's funny. You draw all kind of faces. You draw all kind of faces, huh? Yeah. Okay, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time. Tell them bye. Tell them bye. Come on, tell them bye. Bye. <laughs>